Hi, this is Ian Westerman. I'm the head pro at EssentialTennis.com, where it's my mission to bring passionate instruction to passionate tennis players just like you. Welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how you can control the depth of your ground strokes. And several elements kind of work together to really inform exactly how deep or how short a ground stroke lands, talking about forehand or a backhand here from, from back on the baseline, the speed of your shot, you know, how much drive you put on the ball and how fast it moves through the air is a big part of it. What kind of spin that you put on the ball, top spin or flat, lack of spin, or backspin also, also changes the exact depth that you end up hitting to. But also the height is a big one. And we're gonna focus on height in today's video because it's very easy to manipulate and and yet many players, I think, aren't really very aware of what height does to the ball and how big of an advantage it can give them. So in a previous video, I talked about where you should be aiming. You'll notice, James, zoom in on the other side. I've got some plastic strips right across the middle of no man's land. That cuts no man's land in half. So we have, just, just for reference here, we've got a line right down, the, right down the middle between the service line and the baseline, which leaves us nine feet between that line and the baseline, just so that you know. So as we try to achieve more depth, and depth is huge because it can allow us to control the point. When we keep the ball deep, we are able to keep our opponent pinned back. We limit their chances to attack, and we keep them in a much more defensive position. So depth is huge. Now, I'm gonna hit a couple of forehands here, and I'm, I'm gonna be looking for very specific results. And then I'll, I'll pause, we'll review, and I'll show you what you should be looking for when you go out and practice and when, when you go out and actually pr play your matches. Okay, so I just hit a shot as I'm just hitting some casual forehands here with good confidence, but I'm not trying to really tag it and go all, go all out either. I'm just trying to hit a nice, full, confident forehand. The shot that I just completed hitting traveled over the top of the net about a foot and a half, maybe two feet, landed around the service line. I'm not exactly sure, we'll have to review the tape. It was right around the service line. And then as it crossed the baseline, was probably about two or three feet up off the court. Now, that's a shot that most tennis players will hit, and they'll hit it solid, it'll feel good, and they'll say, oh, I probably, it made it past the, the service line at least a little bit, I hit that solid. But the fact of the matter is, against a good baseline opponent, that's just feeding them strikes all day. It's just giving them shots right in their strike zone. So for most of us amateur players who are not hitting huge topspin and we're not hitting huge pace, that shot is not doing anything to challenge our opponents. It's giving them shots that are comfortable and that they can easily rally and groove and get into a rhythm with. So, now I'm gonna go for a little bit different kind of results and I'll, we'll talk about it as soon as I hit just the, the right shot that I'm looking for here. Okay, so I just hit another shot that was about a foot, foot and a half higher than the shot before. It crossed the net by about three feet, give or take, maybe three and a half, uh, four at the very most. It definitely wasn't any higher than four feet. Rather than land on the service line, and by the way, I used the same aggressiveness of swing. I wasn't going for a big aggressive shot, just confident all the way through and nice full swing. Now instead of a shot that lands around the service line, because we add a foot, foot and a half over the, over the top of the net in terms of height, now we have a shot that lands right around those red strips. I think it went a couple feet deeper than those red strips. So now we have a shot that's landing about six feet from the baseline instead of 18, and we have a shot that is coming up off the court and still rising as it crosses the baseline. So this is a shot that's still very safe, but significantly more challenging for our opponents on the other side. And these are the types of elements that you should be practicing purposefully when you go out and you rally with a practice partner or you have the chance to hit with a ball machine, which is excellent practice, give yourself some targets like I have here with those red lines and rather than hit a little bit short and then try to hit more aggressively, 
Experiment with different heights over the top of the net. With a nice, confident, full swing and just a little bit of top spin, you should be aiming three to four feet over the top of the net to get nice depth. And this varies, of course. If you don't hit the ball you know, quite as big, then you can start to aim four, maybe five feet over the top of the net to get that same depth. But controlling your depth is huge. And this is one way that I believe is the easiest to really be able to, to do that and recreate specific results that make life more difficult for your opponents. So pay attention to the height over the net that you're hitting. Pay attention to the corresponding depth that the ball is going. And the more you can control those elements, the more success you're going to have on the court. So hopefully this lesson's been helpful to you. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, do me a favor and click like, especially, uh, well, I guess that would be just for YouTube or uh, Facebook. Uh, do me a favor and click like. Also, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel at Essential Tennis. Uh, well, on YouTube. And I'm really butchering uh, the ending here. Uh, subscribe to uh, my, my YouTube channel, uh, the Essential Tennis YouTube channel, so you don't miss out on future lessons and videos, pro footage, all kinds of stuff that we're constantly coming out with. If you have any comments or questions at all, I'll leave those down below. Thank you so much for watching today. I appreciate it. Take care and good luck with your tennis.